this fourth and final matchup on this divisional round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. Chicago first, crushed let's Dallas. Let's take a look back to Saturday's NFC divisional round. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Bradley Pinion. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Rams take over first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. And he's found the end zone twice. And now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards. So make it second and five. From the 28, it's second and five. They got nobody in the middle of the field now. They don't have Devin. Well, I guess they have Devin White. Going right back to Akers. And he'll get it up near Not the good enough. Right Not good enough to stop me. Here. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a bat. They'll keep it on the ground. There we go. We're just milk and clock. <clears throat> milk and clock. Ensuring victory. Someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Love has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. We're good. We're good. They'll run on first down. It's Davidson. He's got the first down and more inside the Oof. 40. That he is out of bounds, but not what a run. He's inside the 30. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. They didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, it created a big run. A first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. On second down now, Akers. Go, Cam. Ah. Able to stop him, but he does take that it burst. all the way to the two. That's good. I think you guys know what's coming. A little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. <laughs> Second and goal from They're the about ground. to get it. They'll keep it on the ground. Davidson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. A great play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Rams add on Look to at their the blocking, lead. though. So, my man. Everybody Another holding their assignments, staying engaged, the moving their feet. Did they earn throughout the year? That's how you hold a block. Right we knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right Same through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Fire, beware. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead down. To All right, Tom. The only touchdown you scored was off of a cheap force fumble. Come on, can you generate some actual offense? They'll begin on the ground here with Vaughn. 
And not much to speak of. Number Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Aaron Donald on the well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Oh, uh, he, gets away with one. Lucky he did get away with one. But it falls to the ground. Well, coming into this one, we expected that this offense would have trouble. With and they're this just going to punt. And that's exactly the way that this game they're is They're just going to punt. Pressure in his face. Coverage downfield has been tight. That led to another incompletion. This defense, they're exactly who we thought they were coming into this one. At their own 20 yard there again line. is the running back as he trots onto the field. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there. And boy, he nice. Happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. I mean, if we had a tough time that. stopping this guy in practice, just in practice, we had a hard time stopping this guy. You gotta believe he's gonna be hard to stop in the game. Keep it on the ground. Davidson. I mean, I knew I knew exactly that they were running every single play, and I still couldn't stop them. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, L.A. Van Jefferson. 64 yards and the Rams tack on to their advantage and nothing too crazy there a quick slant and then he just had a seam he found a seam and when you hit it on the run like that and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving <laughs> oh my god sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else and he ran it into the end zone and the defense they've got to adjust there quickly that's tough on them that's really tough because everything was executed when our ball was out of his hands quickly into the hands of the receiver and then he was gone the extra point splits the uprights and that'll increase their lead to 28. Not looking good for Tom is out on the field and, they will send and company. Taking it about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. First and 10 at their own 24 yard line. Let's make sure Jefferson. Um, I'm sorry. Let's make sure Cam Akers. Is our starting running back now because we are going to sim the rest of this bad boy. The Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field, and here we are almost. The Rams are on to next week as we say so long, everybody. Nice picture. Oh, I love that picture. So that'll do it for us for Charles Davis. That Hello one. Crew. That I'm one is Randy good. Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Los Angeles. So long, everybody.
god, we have so much XP. He's got another ability slot now. Reach for it. Ball carriers with this ability will frequently attempt to gain extra yards while being tackled. Nice. Look at Tremaine Ankrum. Look at this dude's finesse. 24 years old. I mean, this kid Terrell Lewis just keeps leveling up over and over and over and over again. He's already got 91 finesse moves. Let's go ahead and play the Bears real quick. That'll probably be the last the last game that I play this stream. We've already been going for about two hours now. We'll play this final game, which will hopefully put us into the Super Bowl for next episode. But I don't want to get too, uh, too far ahead of myself here. But usually when I play the Bears, I win. So we'll see. Tonight, from SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, it's the NFC Championship Game. see Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Nick Foles and the Chicago Bears. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Rams.
Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know where the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the this is the one that's the real challenge. We can't have that. Not starting the game off on a good note. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. That often runs you into a penalty. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he'll take this one up. Okay, to that worked way better than it should have. First play produces six yards, brings up second down. But okay, Bears. Okay, first play of the game. I see you. Brings up second and four. First carry now for David Montgomery. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Twenty-seven-yard line. A gain of four yards. And the Bears first down. They hand off. My God, they did it again. They did it again. He'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Seven yards on the pickup. That's just messed up. Leave him with a second and three. Seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. On second down, Montgomery. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. The ball carrier. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. No gain on the play. And it's third down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And nope. he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Don't forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times, that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. And this returnable for Harris. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Okay, we're going to soften, soften them up with a little bit of a running game. Start out with, kind of feel them out. Right at the 30. Here's the first carry of the game for Tam Akers. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Eddie Goldman, uh, uh, yeah. Eddie Goldman jacked me up on that one. A second and seven. Brings up second and seven. On second down, it's Davidson. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. First and ten at the 43-yard line. On first down, it's Davidson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. But one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense.
this Back big yardage. Jalen Johnson. A gain of nine brings up second. The last play. run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Going to give this time to the tailback. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down. Uh, I'm not sure why. They'll get three as the drive continues. There we go. It's a first down. You were For some reason, my audio was super exactly quiet. what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big dual football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Jalen Johnson up to make the tackle. Four yards on the pickup. Second down. On second down now. Acres. You guessed wrong. And down inside the 15. You guessed wrong. 16 yards, a first down. That was the uh, easiest 16 yard run I've ever had in my life. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice before. What are you doing, Khalil Mack? You go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go what are you all doing, stuff, Khalil Mack? I don't like that. It looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. They'll run on first down. Davidson down to the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. He was brought down at the four yard line. Now on third down, a nickel formation. Going right up the middle behind my center. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Rams are going to take a first quarter lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Now that's an opening drive. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bears take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They'll need to come from behind if they want to play in two weeks as they trail early in this NFC Championship game. Now left side on the swing pass. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. <laughs> Watch out, referee linesman. Even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. That'll leave him with a third and two Most coming. Most boring up. play call ever. There. And it brings up third down. <clears throat> After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Come on, Bears. You know you want to run it right into the teeth of my defense. Come on. They have the catch on You know you want to. It didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. A give to Montgomery. And, and they did. <laughs> and they're going to mark him down. Short. The play calling is so horrible. Yard, if that. 